Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, or AOC, has removed her pronouns from her ex bio. I fully believe she owes her fans, just regular people, an explanation for why she did this. What are you, transphobic now, AOC? And I say this because she has been basically the queen of hysterical politics. She is anything but reasonable. And now for her to take her pronouns out, I really believe she completely owes everybody an explanation. I think people on the right, even just people in the moderate middle, should be asking her every single day, why did you do this now? You've been basically probably the politician in America pushing the woke agenda down everybody's throats more than anybody, which I'll show in a second here. Why did you just suddenly m remove your pronouns? You think it's politically more advantageous for you now? Are you just completely full of crap? Do you believe anything that you say? I mean, she's getting gotten people so riled up about woke issues before. Here she is a few years ago responding to the fact that her Instagram bio never had pronouns. Oh, I'm sorry about that. They used to be on there. Let me go in and check and see if I can add them. Sorry about that. They used to be there. I guess they fell off, but I'll put them on right now. So there she's proving that the pronouns are now on Instagram bio and people have been pointing out that on X following this election, she removed the pronouns. But I mean, is this like just a way to try to play a political game? Because now you don't think it's popular anymore. And now all of a sudden, are you just like transphobic? You don't think it's important to signal to people what your pronouns are to make um, transgender people feel more comfortable putting they, them because you put she, her, something like that. Or are you just bigoted and you just don't like trans transgender people now that it's not politically popular. And again, if it was just like a random person removing it, it's not a big deal. But AOC, as I said, is the queen of woke politics. She's basically made a name for herself, a political career on being hysterical. AOC is out of her mind with all the woke stuff. Is that the same folks who tell, who tell us and told us that COVID, COVID's just a flu, that climate change isn't real, that January 6th was nothing but a tourist visit, are the same, are now trying to tell us that transgender people are not real. Is that the same? You remove your the pronouns in your bio. Doesn't seem like you're that much of an ally, ally to transgender people. Again, unless you are, but she needs to explain the decision here. Why was it so important? And then now, just a few days after the election, it's no longer important. And the Democratic politicians... And in a sense, there was somewhat of a, um, I don't know if you want to call it justice or whatever, for Kamala's constant flip-flopping. AOC is still in government. She should have to answer for this. I mean, Kamala still is, but only for a short while longer. But her flip-flopping on all of her issues, on the fracking, on per perhaps the transgender inmate thing. I mean, at least Kamala lost the election. So you could say, well, there's been somewhat of a fair, whatever you want to call it, AOC is still in government. Thank you. Now, as also as a fellow New Yorker, I think one of the things that we should talk about here is also one of the disgusting legacies after 9-11 has been the targeting and racism against Muslim Americans throughout the United States of America. And this is an extension of that legacy. Consistency, there is nothing consistent with the Republican Party's continued attack except for the racism and incitement of violence against women of color in this body. I had a member of... So again, like AOC's whole career was just going on and on about the craziness and just getting everyone riled up. So for her to just now just be like, oh, maybe this she, her in my profile is not popular anymore. She should have to explain it. And here she is following this election, kind of sounding more reasonable, but I don't, I just think it's grifting. Personally, I don't. I think that... A lot of voters really don't like fake people and they're sick. And so again, it just to me, this just seems like her kind of feeling where the political winds are blowing. Oh, maybe, maybe I need to be a little bit more reasonable or I'm not going to be voted in in the future. Again, here she is pretending to be in handcuffs. Like... <laughs> And here she is with this speech, which again, I'm going to make the point, the final point I'll make here. AOC has gotten so, so many people riled up with woke politics. She definitely has to explain 
why she, her is no longer necessary in her bio. This, we are facing a national crisis. And if we do not ascend to that crisis, if we do not ascend to the, to, to the levels in which we were threatened at the Great Depression, when we were threatened in World War II, if we do not ascend to those levels, if we tell the American public that we are more willing to invest and bail out big banks than we are willing. So again, basically making the point that like the Green New Deal, the climate change is as important as the depression. Just wild, wild language. I certainly do not agree with that. But look at some of the potential ramifications of this. This is AOC at a town hall. Listen to this voter, just how unhinged she is. Maybe she got some of these ideas, or at least it put us like a seed in her head from AOC. Listen to this. We're going to be here for much long because of the climate crisis. We only have a few months left. I love that you support the Green Deal, but it's not getting, you know, getting rid of fossil fuel. It's not going to solve the problem fast enough. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit because this woman, like AOC, listen to what she thinks. She thinks that we need to eat babies, according to this woman, to save the planet. So we have to get rid of the babies. That's a big problem. Just stopping having babies is not enough. We need to eat the babies. And this is very serious. Please no, no, no. give a response. Okay, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. We'll go ahead. Um, okay. No, we'll, we'll go ahead. It's so, no, no, no. Yeah, no. Thank you. So I think, um, so a luckily, we have more than a few months. We do need to hit net zero in several years. Um, but I think we all need to, to, to understand that there are a lot of solutions that we have um, and that we can pursue. And that if we act in a positive way, there's space for hope. There's, we are never beyond hope. So look, the, this woman's obviously unhinged incredibly at this town hall from AOC. I don't really blame AOC like for not shaming her because maybe this woman's having some sort of mental episode. I mean, it's that's just an absurd thing to think. Maybe she needs professional help or whatever. I think that's probably reasonable. But like AOC's whole career is based on this hysterics. She's just like, she kind of has a similar perspective of Bernie Sanders. But in terms of the woke stuff, I think a ton of it falls at the feet of AOC. She's very popular. She gets so many people riled up with these passionate speeches about whatever the woke issue of the day is, which I've shown a few here. So for you to just now be like, uh, maybe I'm going to tone it down on the pronouns because it's not politically popular. I think it's incredibly corny. It's incredibly, incredibly disingenuous for her to be doing this. I think she owes the public an explanation. I think people should ask her this constantly actually until they get some sort of recognition, some sort of reasonable explanation of why she, her in bio was so important for the last number of years and why it's suddenly not important. Is she transphobic? Is this a transphobic thing to do, etc.? I think those questions should be asked. So with that said, I'll finish the video here, but thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.